Welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. We're in Foundry VTT version 12 and we're going to look at cover in this particular video. Um, not a specific module because actually we can look at four different modules as part of this. So different ways that we can um, we can calculate cover as part of our uh, as part of our combat and other activities. So um, as you're aware in D&D &D specifically we have and it will apply to other game engines as well but the D&D &D system you can have partial cover, um, full cover, three quarter cover etc which affects your ability to hit a target and the way the mechanics works is if you've got partial cover you get a bonus to your armor class because of that cover you know hiding behind a table, peeking around a wall, whatever that may be. So what are we going to look at? So what the first one we're going to look at is Symbols Cover Calculator. So I've got this installed at the moment, and this is the one we're going to look at. Um, I've also got MIDI QOL in here. Um, I don't have the other Rippers Levels Cover Calculator, but we will look at that as well so that you guys can decide which works best for you, which you like the most. So first of all, um, we can kind of ignore MIDI for the moment, uh, the MIDI QOL stuff, because I just want to show you how this works. So all I've got here is I've got some drawings that I've drawn here, uh, and then I've just put some walls around them. So we've got some stuff we can hide behind. So if I pick on Sorryman here, he can see just about see several characters. Now if I target it, you can see in the chat it's telling me that Sorryman the Wide checks their sight line to the goblin and that goblin has half cover from Sorryman's location so it's getting a plus two to its armor class. Uh, what about this one down here? This one as well it's got half cover from Sorryman. So Sorryman can actually you know decide which one to target or could decide to move potentially and then we can recalculate um, and there's going to be some positions here of course where we get that's a half cover it can be quite tricky to kind of see exactly which one's going to get what from where um, I think from there was a position down here where there we go so we've got three quarters cover if he looks at pop so sorry in the wide checks his sight line to pop it's three quarters cover so pop has a plus five armor class so this is this is what it does it's very nice. Let's have a quick look at the um, the configuration settings for this one all the way to the bottom. Uh, there's very few, which is nice. We like that because it's it does what you need it to do without being complicated. So do we want to compute cover on target? You can use a hotkey to say compute cover when you want to, or I think I would prefer to have this on to say just always, whenever you target something, compute the cover um, rather than having to use an extra hotkey. Okay, I've already had to press a key to target. I don't want to press another one. Uh, whisper cover report to self. Um, so instead of also whispering to the GM, um, I don't know why you'd want that. Um, but there's also a debug line of sight. If I turn this on, just so you can see what this does, this shows you how, let's change, there we go. It shows you how it's calculating this. So it's giving you... Um, red and green lines to say right red lines show what it can see green lines shows what it can't see and that correlates with, and that's the maths it's using to work out how much you can see so you can see over half just over half but not all of it therefore it's half cover uh, if we go back over here we can see that actually we can only see a little bit there's only a couple of red lines here therefore it's three quarters cover we can see some but not all of it so that's how that works and it calculates that. Um, so I'm just going to switch that particular bit off again, or otherwise we'll end up all these lines absolutely everywhere and that's just going to be confusing. And to get rid of these lines, I just need to refresh Foundry like that. There we go. So we've got rid of all those uh, very useful, but also hideously confusing lines. All right, so how does this work with MIDI QOL. So let's select a couple of our, hang on a minute, let's select a couple of our tokens here uh, and we can add them into combat just to show how that's going to work. Let's just randomly roll initiative here and start that combat. 
Okay. Remember to keep my chat nice and clear. Sorryman's going first. So Sorryman can choose to target this one up here um, where it's telling me... Um, oh, hang on. I've got too many selected. There we go. <laughs> so by doing this, it's telling me got half cover. So in theory, when Sorryman attacks this individual, it is going to give it an extra two AC. So let's see if that works. So if I, uh, I've got his... Uh, let's use his short bow here. It's going to do his attack roll. And if we look here, we can see his attack roll is his normal attack bonuses. But if you look on the right-hand side here under Goblin, Goblin, he missed it because it's got an armor class of 17 plus 2. So it's adding that onto the armor class for us. Uh, let's, target, let's target Bob. Uh, and then let's try that again. Let me clear my chat just so it's easier to see what's applying for this. So there we go. So it's checked. It's got three quarters cover. It should be applying plus, for plus five. Uh, he's, he, Sorryman's rolled particularly high. So again, uh, just this bit here. Sorryman the wide attacking pop where it's got the green bar. You can see it's 15 plus five. So it is taking that into account. Now, of course, that automation of that attack is being done by MIDI. The changes to the armor class is being driven by symbols. So let's go in and have a quick look at the MIDI setting to see where that is connecting in. So within the configuration, I'm pretty sure it was in mechanics. If we scroll down, so again, the MIDI QOL settings in the mechanics cover calculator which calculator do we want to use and we're using symbols cover calculator and it works beautifully it, it's just yeah um, so that's absolutely one option that appears to work so what we're going to do now is we're going to change our modules um, because that one works that's lovely but we might not want to use it for whatever reason so oops yep let's take those out um, and we're going to put in Levels Automatic Calculator by Ripper. Okay, so it's going to do the same job, it's just going to do it differently. Now, you notice it looks like we've got a couple of errors here. The reason why is because if I go back into my configure settings, I go back into MIDI, uh, into MIDI QOL. Can't use the alphabet. There we go. Uh, I need to go to those workflow settings, that mechanics again. We're not using it. <laughs> it's trying to use that. I need to change that to say actually we're going to use the levels auto cover one. Okay, so again, we can save that uh, and we should be good to go. Just want to check that I have got the other one did uninstall or rather deactivate. Don't want to confuse it by having both running at the same time. So how's this one going to work then? Um, probably ought to have a quick look at the levels automatic cover calculator. Uh, now you'll notice that this says uh, we've got this message up here about the levels auto cover is in API mode but MIDI is not using levels auto cover you may wish to disable the API mode so it's reload that what that basically means is if you are using see it's just set it back to API mode so levels cover if you're using that mod on its own without MIDI QOL, then you need the full mod active. But because they integrate so well, so that's the levels cover, automatic cover, combined with MIDI QOL, and we've told MIDI QOL, hey, use, uh, use the levels auto cover to do the calculation but actually MIDI QOL is going to drive the engine behind it. So that's why you've got that option. Let me just show you again, because it is slightly confusing. Um, back to the levels auto cover. It's this top one here about the library mode. So if you're using levels automatic cover calculator standalone, you would have that unticked. If something else is doing it, so it says here when enabled, a module will not the module will not handle cover. Instead, it will basically hand its calculations over to the other module, which in this case is MIDI QOL. Okay, let's let's check to see this works. So, uh, sorry, man, again. So let's go back to our chat and let's clear that and let's see how this one works by comparison. 
So we can target our character here and we could target, but we're not getting that really useful um, uh, pop up, are we? Uh, to tell us what's going on. But let's see if we actually can make our attack and see what that may do for us. So we've rolled an 11 and then we've done our damage. Now, if you look at Sorium and the Wide here, again, this green bar pop, it's got an AC of 15 plus five. So we know that this was um, three quarters cover. Let's target this goblin that we know was half cover and we should see similar, but with a plus two to the armor class. I'm sure that was showing as a plus two, wasn't it? Was it showing? Oh, or did I move Sorryman beforehand? Because it's now just decided to <laughs> try that again. All right, I don't want to inadvertently show you something not working when it should be working. There we go. Right, it's because I moved Sorryman. So if we look at this one here in the middle where my mouse is, Sorryman the wide against Goblin. Yes, it's green because he hit it, but it's 17 armor class plus two because of the half cover and I've inadvertently killed my goblin of course um, let's resurrect him for these purposes uh, so it works but it's not telling you what the cover is beforehand um, now there's going to be as always read the comments because there are people who have been using levels automatic cover or symbols automatic cover for much much longer than I have because I've been using them for about 10 minutes <laughs> and they will be able to tell you things that I've missed so obviously we've got things like display chat message here show cover message uh, when targeting library mode uh, corpses provide cover is an option I've not played with ignore tokens of the same disposition in other words you know um, you know if you're friendly do do friendly provide cover for friendly that kind of thing um, there's quite a few other things that we can see here uh, that we can potentially play with. We've got enable ducking as well. Um, so just so you're aware that I've got this little icon on the bottom right here that enables me to duck. So if you're using at uh, wall heights, okay, so if you've got Ripper's wall heights in and you set a wall height to be, say, four foot, a character can choose, let's pick this goblin, can choose to duck so now they are lower down and they're potentially, what it will do is it will actually take into account how high the wall is compared to that creature. So standing behind it, they might have half cover. If they duck behind it, they might have three quarters cover or be or have full cover, depending on the height of that wall versus the height of that creature. So you can get really uh, accurate with it. The question is, is how much level of detail do you really want in your game? How far do you want to take it? And of course, a lot of people run without any of this automation. If you are automating it, how detailed do you want to be? How much is that detracting from just playing, just doing the game? Um, it's up to you. You know, if you've got, if you're playing something that's non D and D or a D and D where there's lots of shooting and firing arrows and things like that, you might find that this is really important for the tactics of combat that you have, um, you, that you're using cover an awful lot. You know, they're moving in squads and things like that. This might be a really good way of solving any arguments. You know, oh, have they got cover? Haven't they got cover? Well, you just go by. Uh, by symbol or by um, the the levels auto cover one of them will tell you whether it is or not so that's really nice I really really like that now the other thing I wanted to have a little play with while I've got these active is we can also put in if I can remember because my my poor brain my poor brain what's it called ah, tactical grid that's it now these work with tactical grid apparently so I say that they do work with tactical grid so let's have a look at tactical grid and look at those options on here um, and in the settings here we've got this cover box now you can set it to combat only but you can also choose your cover calculator so you can just say, look, whatever MIDI is using, use the same. Or you can specifically say, use the levels auto cover. Or you can choose symbols. Or there's a Pathfinder one or alternative token cover. 
So we're using the levels one at the moment. So we can apply that, save changes. Now if we pick Soriman again, of course we've got our tactical grid, haven't we? Uh, let's make sure we've got our chat up. Uh, and if I target this, we can see that this is giving us a message that Soriman is targeting something. It's not picking up the name of what it's targeting, but it is telling us there's three quarters cover there. So Tactical Grid is providing us that little bit of inf information. We're targeting this goblin, Soriman the Wide, targeting that thing. We're getting half cover. If I target this one, it's got three quarters cover from Soriman's current position. So we can choose to move around, try and get more favourable shot. There we go. Now it's only half cover. Uh, but I can also see this one here now that's also got half cover. So it does integrate really quite nicely. Um, whether you want to use Tactical Grid or not, whether you want to use MIDI QOL or not, whether you want to use uh, Levels Auto Cover or Symbol, we need to check that. Of course we do. Let's go to our Manage Modules and let's switch back again. Let's get rid of the Levels Auto Cover and we'll go back to the Symbols Cover Calculator, which needs the extra one as well. My poor foundry, it must get really, really confused with me switching out modules. I do need to make sure I go back into MIDI QOL, back into those workflow settings, back into mechanics, and say, right, well, I know we're using symbols again now. <laughs> poor thing. <laughs> okay, so let's again, let's just check with tactical grid on uh, how that's working for us. So we're now with symbols one we get the symbols message but we also get the tactical grid message okay so we're getting both of those now what I also should be able to get and I'm not getting right now so I'm just going to have a look at my settings for tactical grid is uh, for this um, we should be able to get these symbols for it The reason why I got confused because I was thinking, hang on a minute, when I'm clicking this, it's not targeting, it's not giving me what I wanted. But what I forgot was is the way that you get this to work is when you're moving. So if I hold down Soriman as if to drag him, it's now showing me half cover, half cover and the ones targeted at the moment, three quarter cover. As I move this, you can see the goblin on the right now has three quarters cover. Move down here, it's now got full cover. Uh, we've got Pop in the middle, who's got three quarters cover, and that goblin's still got half cover. If I move down again, and you can just see, so not only we're getting the distance and stuff, but actually as we move, it's able to tell us what our cover is like, or rather what the enemy's cover is like. So that's, sorry, apologies for that. That's the bit I got confused around, because it doesn't do it when you're targeting it. So what are our options here? We've got tactical grid that will do its normal stuff, but also with that on, when we're moving, it will show us the cover that other creatures have from us um, on the basis of our location compared to theirs. Okay, so we can use tactical grid to do that bit. We can use uh, symbols cover calculator, which will absolutely very nicely work out what that cover is and just give us a message uh, that tells us how much cover there is and what the armor class bonus should be for the creature in cover. We can use the levels auto cover that gives a different message but does the same job uh, and again will tell us what that cover is. Okay so both of those seem to work pretty much exactly the same. I mean they're trying to do the same job and they're both Appear to be equally capable of doing that so it's a bit of a preference which one you want to use um, but both of those also will integrate with MIDI QOL so it will take into account what it's calculated the cover is and apply that actually in combat so you can use MIDI QOL and not worry about cover you can use either of those cover calculators as part of MIDI QOL and it will calculate it and if you want to, if you're using Tactical Grid, you can also use Tactical Grid to show as you're moving. Now, bear in mind, of course, with Tactical Grid, you might not want all of the functions. You could turn off a whole bunch of different things and just say, look, don't show me the grid. 
don't do this, don't do that, just show me the cover or just use the range or just cover and range. So you can use any kind of combinations of those. So like I say, this isn't just looking at one mod, this is looking at all the way that these four mods, basically these four mods, integrate with each other. Um, as I said, please read the comments because there are absolutely people who use this all the time in their games and they'll have a much better idea of any quirks, uh, probably things that I've missed completely, features that, that will really do a good job for you. Um, so yeah, read the comments and of course leave your own comment down there. You know, do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you use it? Do you not use it? Which do you think you would prefer, etc. You know, feed the algorithm. Um, <laughs> leave a like and of course if you're not subscribed please do so and uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care.